G'day everybody, it's Jared Gray here from Dickens Real Estate on another one of our one-take walkthroughs that we absolutely love bringing you. And we had to at this place because it's got so much to offer you and we can't wait to show it to you. So it's a Saturday afternoon. I've just not long picked up Max from the footy so he can jump on that camera. Good game of Rezos, good win. Um, and it's 22 degrees and it's so peaceful. It's so private out here. One of the features I'm about to talk to you about here at number 29, Williams Road, Wandilagong. Remember that address, could be your new address if you were so lucky. So what is it that I wanna focus on out here? I guess I just see this is what country living and moving to the country is all about. Or if you're fortunate enough to have this as your holiday base, what coming to the country is all about. It's, it's a home on five acres, so it's classic Wandilagong styling, beautiful brick and timber home. And then we've got the mix of mature grounds heaps of grass, ridiculous amount of space, and then that natural bush setting at the rear. Max will get a, doesn't need me in the shot, he'll get a little close up. So we go right to the top of this ridge line. And it's just something else, just to look out and see that not a pine tree in sight, pine plantation in, in sight, We because there probably is pine trees, um, no pine plantation in sight, uh, but we get to enjoy the best of Australiana right here. And on top of that, straight across the road from us is more parkland. Should I come along and maintain it? Open space designated. So that's not gonna change. And it's got Growlers Creek on the other side of it. So we've got space, big tick. We've got privacy, not a car in sight. And we've got everything that coming to the country is all about. It's so darn good. And we've got this beautiful house that I wanna show you. So come on in board. I'll keep it moving because I've already been rabbiting on too much. And uh, as we toodle in, Max and I, and uh, we'll show you what we've got because this has got so many wandy features. All these timber-lined eaves, this beautiful red brick. It's, it's just a material that never, never dates. It's just so good to use. And then you come inside and you just, I, the, the mix of materials is just so well thought out. Our timber windows, the cleanliness of the plaster. Then I talked to you about that thatch in the milling in a moment because that thatch ceiling looks unreal. But the pitch ceiling and then these chunky, uh, chunky posts. Now I bought my measure because I literally, no fibs whatsoever, I have not yet checked how high this ceiling is, but I'm going to. It is, all the way up there is 6.2 meters. That's not bad. That's unbelievable. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's how high this space is. Unreal. So let's bounce up the stairs first and show you this. As I go past this reclaimed brick wall that makes a real feature in the kitchen space. But uh, yeah, I'm up here, I wanna talk to you about this parents area and this thatch ceiling because it's such a nice throwback to the, to the past. You don't see it in many. I've only seen it in a couple of homes. Um, I remember the old um, pub up at Dinner Plain used to have um, the Hessian wrapped, uh, the Hessian sort of lacquered onto the side of its walls, but you don't see that thatching much, but it's a really cool feature. This just feels like a step back in time, but you've got all this beautiful, massive light coming in that didn't happen in the older homes, and we've got these beautiful timbers and such a nice feeling. So this big space up here, if the kids are annoying the bejeebas out here or your footy team's losing, you slip up here, How's that? That's north facing. Sit on the couch. Good book. Take in the beautiful backyard. So good. Um, doesn't matter if you're looking on the rocking chair out to the, the on that southern side there, out the front yard. That's just as good. Home office if you want it to be. Or well, this is still way big enough. You could extend this whole room, this master bedroom out and add an ensuite in perhaps. Because this master bedroom, as Max will show you, is is also, it's so big. Everything's really oversized. The bedroom's a great size. This is five, six meters wide. Um, you could easily have a king in here with a couple of bedsides, no problem. And then um, solar panels to help with the bills. Solar hot water there for the, um, or solar heating for the pool. We'll talk about that in a minute. And uh, yes, a whole parents end up here. It's, it's so good. I just wanna, I just wanna show you how solid it is. It's got such a good feel and it just feels like home the second you walk in, it's, it's just beautiful. Um, so if we slide back through here into the kitchen, we get to go past that wall I was talking about before, these reclaimed bricks, double brick wall, and it's just, you just wanna slap it and feel how strong it is, it's so good. And then yet you come in here and it makes this nice border that Mac, you'll see in a minute with Max on the video, but you get this cleanliness of this, the sheen on this timber is unreal on this bench. 
oversized island, electric cooking, and then this space here for, a, for, for, for family dinner or breaking some bread with some friends with that beautiful outlook, the whole outside spilling in. The greenness is just unreal. Um, bench, as I was saying, we've got the big walk-in pantry here, fridge space, the timber lining on this ceiling space here is just, it's just perfect. It's just what you do with your Wandy home. And then lovely size downstairs bedroom. As I was saying, all the bedrooms are oversized. Again, the brick walls are feature with that natural light on that northern side of feature. We've got storage in the hallway. Both the bedrooms down here have got built-ins. Um, that's a queen. Could Again, it could be bigger if you wished. Plenty of space as you'll see, so great size rooms. And then everyone's a winner with the bathroom. We've got the spa, we've got the tile, uh, the uh, slate tiles continue. We've got the uh, walk in, the big shower, um, lovely. Max in his football gear in the uh, window, <laughs> in the mirror. We've got uh, Lou separate, we've got laundry here, we've got wet entrance. It's been really well thought out. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. It's um, everything's catered for. So as we, um, as you see the back of me, we slide back outside, you'll see how I was saying that the brickwork in here becomes a little piece of art in itself. I just, I just love the way it's been built. I, the thought that's gone into the homes is just so cool. Um, yeah, it's really, it is very, very special home. And until I bring you inside, or Scotty, my offsider, brings you inside, you just won't get how good it is. Max is gonna walk straight past me while I kick my shoes on. Now that we've given you a little bit more of a taste of the home, I'll just talk to you about how good this space is. Just, you know, flat as a pancake, kids running around, December cricket games before Christmas, unwrapping the presents, um, out here this afternoon trying to practice your left footers, soccer ball, football, frisbee, you name it, fly your kite, um, the maturity of the trees. But what I'm saying is, is this space, this is what it's all about when you get out here. There's just, we just tick so many big boxes with this property. But yeah, beautiful space. And the maturity in the gardens, I was just thinking to myself before when I came here is, you can see these, the camellia is about to absolutely explode. And then, but you, you know, you get the benefit of the fact that it's been here for so long. Um, so beautiful. Bit of extra shedding, got the double garage here. Uh, plenty of space for the rider mower. And then uh, straight past the pond. And if you've picked up a few snags off Pete Riccardi and it's a Sunday Barbie. Barbie's here, the ceiling fan's on, everyone's sitting out here having a little giggle. Uh, that's straight back inside as I was saying before. And then if it's warm enough into the pool, Definitely not warm enough for my cozies today, so we won't be showing you the pool anymore. But look at the backdrop. Back to that backdrop. A little breath of wind, not a noise to be had. So busy, bright, peaceful Wandy, so nice. This place has got everything. I'd love to show you a bit more of it. We've got heaps more to tell you about it. Uh, we've got some floor plans. We've got heaps of information, aerials. If you want to see it, give us a call. Max will put all the details on the screen. 29 Williams Road, as I was saying, could be your new place. Um, can't wait to chat to you about it and look forward to taking you through our next home the next time we do a one-take walkthrough. Thanks so much for watching.